Welcome to this video on multiple time frame trading methodology, specifically how to draw support and resistance trading multiple time frames. So there's a couple of different ways that people like to do this with multiple time frames. One would be to look for setups on the daily chart. So for example, here on the left, we have a daily chart. By the way, by the way, this uh, obviously it's a stock here, but this applies to Forex futures, commodities, whatever you're trading. And so people would say, okay, I'm gonna look for a setup on the long-term chart, and but then I'm gonna drill down to the short-term chart for a very precise entry. And you may be using that for day trading or swing trading. So fine, we find that that low does uh, indeed hold, comes back up. So we draw a support level at that line. And let's see what price that is. I'll bring over my data box for you. We'll get real specific here. So that low is 41.36. All right. So then we go over to our five minute chart in this case, and you might use different time frames. That's fine, whatever. Not trying to uh, be a proponent of any particular time frame here. And so there we go, 41.36 on our five minute chart. We draw the support level on there, and then we say, okay, so going into the future now, we will be looking, if the market comes back into the future, days, weeks, months, whatever, um, we will have a support level there from our long-term chart showing up on our short-term chart. Now, let's see what happens and how well that works out for us. Little hint, it's not gonna work out so great. So actually, let me uh, just skip right to that section. So here we are, and this is that same level, 4136, as you recall. But we've moved forward. In fact, it's quite a bit into the future. But let's say that you were trading this particular day and you had the support level there from the daily chart and it went forward into the future so that if the market ever got back to that level, you would say, oh, okay, I'm going to look to buy there, take profits there, whatever you're going to do. So, or perhaps even sell if it gets below that level, right? So what happens is on that day, the market comes below and doesn't even seem to acknowledge its existence. It just for the first hour, it just goes straight down, boom. Now, of course, as you can see then, it comes back up, goes above it, comes back down below it, above it, below it, um, kind of above, holds it a little bit, okay. So the bottom line is this, when you have these lines that are drawn off of a really long-term chart, like a daily chart, and then you transfer that line over to a relatively short-term chart, like a five-minute chart, they don't provide precise support and resistance levels. Now, does that mean that you shouldn't put them on your chart? Oh, absolutely, you should have them on your chart. but. I treat them a little differently. And here's the practical part of it. Actually, let's go back to the long-term chart here for a minute. We don't need this anymore. So let's look at the daily and see what actually how that looked on a daily chart. Okay, so this is how it looked on a daily chart. So whatever, a couple of weeks later, it came back down and that's how it looked on a daily chart. So we marked our initial support here. That would be in that in the real time as we're putting that level on. Now, on a daily chart, this looks great, right? That is definitely a nice bottoming candlestick pattern, looks good, and we could say, yes, it made a lower low, but it had a rejection of value of those lower prices, especially with this candlestick bar, and it headed back on up. So that's great, but remember, that would be hindsight. If we wanted to trade that later, We you know, potentially could, but I'm just talking about when this day occurs, this one particular day here. So anyway, here's what I do. I do recommend that, yes, you have these on your short-term charts, but to me, I don't like to have it just as a line because I say, oh, okay, that looks like any, I do these thin lines like this. I'll put it on a five minute chart, but when it comes when it's based on a um, long-term chart, like a daily chart, I say, okay, I know it's not gonna be that precise, so I'm going to make it look different. So that's a real basic concept, nothing really fancy schmancy here. Like I say, this is kind of a little practical thing for you here today. And I'm just gonna make this real wide, 
10 is the biggest it'll make me go or allow me to go in khaki's kind of light that might be a little too light you can play around with this obviously this is just personal preference okay we'll make it gold and we'll apply it there so and if you can make it a little bit transparent i think that's even better because then and this will vary from charting platform to charting platform as to what type of options you have here but the point is when I'm drawing a support level from a daily chart or from a long-term chart to a short-term chart, let's just say that because I'm not really referencing any specific um, time intervals, but if they're really far apart like that, then I will just mark it with a thick line like this and a lighter line to let me know that, oh, okay, that's what that is. I've got that stored in my brain cells so that if I'm looking at it on a five-minute chart and I see this line, I'll be like, oh, okay that is from a really really long-term chart therefore i do not expect the market to just come down and hold that line i expect it to have more um wiggle room it's a zone if you will so i don't even like calling support resistance lines lines i call them support resistance zones because yes the market does hold it it does hold it and this bar here just as a much more clear representation um and so this whole zone here we have to respect and acknowledge that even if it slices through it with dramatic energy as it did i mean that's pretty dramatic energy for it just to go whoosh like that you might get the impression oh wow this thing is just gonna go south or you might do a kind of um look for a throwback and then for it to go down but the point is here, don't look for precision at these support resistance lines off of a long-term chart when you see it on a short-term chart. But you still should have them there. You still should have them there because those levels are very important. So just figure out your own way of drawing it that makes sense to you and um, to distinguish it from short-term support resistance levels. Now, if you like this video, please understand that it's free, but if you got value from it, you have a moral obligation to share it with other people. Pay it forward. Click on that beautiful share button below. It gives you a warm feeling in your heart. And that's really the best thing that you can do to keep these free lessons coming. I also love your comments. They encourage me to create more free lessons for you. Love it when you click the thumbs up icon below. And I'm going to give you one of my favorite trade strategies called the rubber band trade. Absolutely free with all the rules all the parameters the setup everything it's in a 26 minute video and you can get that for free by clicking on the image in the top right corner of this video or in the description below the video and if you're not watching on youtube then there's probably a link below or an opt-in form on the side once you do any of those i will personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy